All right, last part. We're going to do our recursive function to solve this problem. Okay, so rather than knowing where to where you currently are, this it's nice to have this little helper method. Anytime you do recursion, you have some a uh, little helper method to start the recursive method and that way you don't have to have all of the parameters that you do in your recursive method. So that's what this solve is. It's just a little helper method to get our recursion going and then the recursive method which is this solve with the two parameters that is going to actually do the recursion to solve the, the maze. So our regular solve is just going to be an if statement. If solve this is where it's calling the recursive function and I'm going to call it for the start row and the start call. So if that comes back successful I'm just going to do a see out statement that says success. Okay, and if it does not come back successful, I'm going to do an else statement that just prints out that there was no solution to this maze. All right, so now that my recursive case has started, I can actually do the, the meat, the meat and potatoes. I can solve this problem. Okay, so if I find the solution, meaning if my current row is equal to my end row and my current column is equal to my end column, then that means I have found a solution and I'm already there. So we'll say return true. Right. That is my base case. This is going to stop the recursion from going. It's the end. That's one way of finding the solution to the maze. Okay, if it's not empty, that's also another way to determine. So here if I say if, remember I have this method down below to determine if it's empty. So if it's not empty, my current row and my current call That is also another base case, but in that situation, that is not a solution. So we'll say return false. But if I hit a wall or if I go outside of the 2D array, it's not going to help me out. So that's another base case, but that's the opposite. That's going to return false. Okay, the last case is going to be my recursive case. So anything else, I'm going to put in, so here I'm going to say maze, cur row, cur call, and I'm just going to put in a little marker there. I'm going to set it equal to a plus sign, and the plus sign will just be a little marker to bound to, to mark where the solution to the maze is. So I put in that little marker, that way it's not a space and I won't check that position again. And then I'm going to look above, to the right, below, and to the left of me. So I'm going to say solve, which is calling my current function, and I'm going to do my current row plus one, but with my current call. So that's going to just look one space below me. Uh, or I want to look my current row minus one with the current column. Then there's that. So that's above and below me. Now I'm going to go to the right and to the left. And what have I done here? I've got some weird brackets going on. So I'm going to say or solve. I'm going to do the current row, but I'm going to do the current call plus one or solve and I'm going to have to scroll so you can actually see that because my face is in the way. Current row, current call, minus one. So that is now above, to the right, to the left, and below me. So if that comes back 
as a solution, I'll return true. That is my recursive case. It won't go back to where I've already been because I've marked it with that little plus sign. Put a little comment in here. This, this is the recursive case. Okay, now there's one other thing I have to do. And that's if, if this does not come back as a solution, my else to that. So my else to that means I want to unmark that current row. And I'm going to un, where's that bracket? And instead of setting it equal to that little plus sign, I got a mark that it's it's back to a space again. Let's just line these brackets up. <clears throat> and then at this point, I'm going to return false that that was not a solution. And then my default, I just have a return false in here. So if there is no solution in the maze, it will come back and, and return false throughout the entire case of recursion. So if I should probably compile that first, compile that. And remember the last time we just had our maze. So this time we're going to go through and it should give us the solution to our maze. And it's denoted with the little plus sign. So it comes down here all the way through our little maze and out the end. Well, good luck. And here's an example of how recursion was used to solve a maze. And good luck with the rest of the, the projects.